There's a message from Public Security reminding us to update the digital version of our business license ASAP. Bell, you didn't just toss that message into the spam folder, did you? No, I didn't. I was just getting ready to go now. You coming? The nearest place is... Lumina Square Precinct. If we leave now, we should make it before they close. Yuan, there's a new report out. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Please continue, Captain Zhu Yuan. Yes, sir. The target of our operation is the Mountain Lions, a militant group that believes in brutality and is known for its involvement in violent crimes. Their leader, Razor, has pulled together a fierce crew using his strength and wit. One of the new faces we should keep a close eye on is Jane. She's played a key role in several criminal activities recently, rapidly rising through the ranks and the gang. These are the targets for this combat operation. We're planning to send a small elite squad for a surgical strike against their core forces with the goal of crippling the Mountain Lion Gang. Captain, I have a question. Go ahead. The Mountain Lions are strong because of their armed members, but even if they're dauntless criminals, at the end of the day, they're essentially just a bunch of bandits. Surely they can't outgun public security, right? Instead of just targeting their core forces, why not go a step further and take down their headquarters altogether? Well, because... We can't. At least not yet. You are correct, Officer Seth. They can call themselves the Mountain Lions, but in the eyes of the law, they're just alley cats with a bit more fluff. Nothing more. And certainly nothing to fear. The thing is, they're slippery. Slippery? That's right. These crooks manage to get away after every crime by entering a hollow and disappearing without a trace. A precinct has carried out several thorough raids, including systematic sweeps of the hollows they frequent. 
It's a real shame we couldn't find anything. Unless your report brings good news, Officer Ching Yi. Oh? Let me think. The report indicated that our intel officers managed to detain a member of the Mountain Lion Gang at an old construction site in a hollow. Now would be an ideal chance for a surprise strike. I see. Our precinct has invested significant time and resources in preparing for this operation. Captain Julian, you know what this means. Yes, sir, I do. You'll be leading this operation. Remember, we cannot afford any failures. Is that clear? Crystal clear, sir. Codename? Operation Hooked. Let's prepare for combat! Hard to access the third floor. Let's find it. Yeah! 
Captain, we didn't find the key card on them. Having come this far, the key card must what do we be have around here? here somewhere. Perfect. Let's defeat it and grab the data. Allow me, Captain. With pleasure. Really? Allow me. This is the moment. Stop resisting. Please, don't resist. Found it. Downloading access privileges now. Good work. Let's take the elevator. Ready for the big showdown? Huh? Contact! Two o'clock! Up there! So she's the target we're after? Affirmative. We'll bring you to justice! You can handle my tricks. Pick up the pace. <laughs> How's that feel? Keep your eyes open. You're under arrest. Surrender your weapon. Let's check your mess. Justice is served. Gotta be more serious now. Still alive. You may remain silent. Let's check your mask. Norga! Justice always prevails! <laughs> that did it. Damn it! These officers are no joke! We need to get out of here! Now! You're not going anywhere. What are you looking at? <laughs> Hey, you really the 
the best the mountain lions got? Why do you keep scurrying away like some rat? Where's your honor? <coughs> hey! Your fighting style is way too boring. All you do is come at me. It's seriously putting me to sleep. Listen up, you scumbag! I'm gonna beat you fair and square! I don't believe in resorting to cheap tricks. <laughs> oh, really? That's too bad. Cheap tricks are what I'm good at. I told you not to wander off. Look at us now. We're completely lost. <laughs> <laughs> Smell etheric matter. Be careful. <laughs> These people are only gonna slow us down. Pubsec is on our tail. Don't make things difficult. Let's bail. Hold it! Who's there? Stay back! Let them go! They're not a part of this! Let them go, huh? Sure. If you take their place! Deal. He actually agreed? <laughs> <laughs> See? Told you it'd work! It's clearing. Stay tight and keep alert. Captain Zhu Yuan, we found three civilians. They're all safe. The mountain lions are gone. They are slippery, just like Officer Byron said. Hold on. Where's Seth? Yes, we apprehended all the gang members at the scene, except for Jane. However, two citizens and Officer Seth have gone missing. There are reports that they were captured by the gang. Uh, understood. Our team is ready and awaiting further orders. So, what's the plan? What happens to us now that we've failed the operation? Hmm. You're turning pale, so I guess this must be it then. I'll box up my desk and return my gear. Oh, is it okay if I take my welcome mug? Huh? Uh, hold on, Jingyi. It's not like that. We haven't failed yet. Poor Juyun. You're in denial that you failed. The core gang members, including Jane, they all got away, remember? The operation was a flop. But hey, you tried your best. No, don't pat me. I, I'm fine. The operation wasn't a flop. I, I mean, not a total flop. We were at least half successful. <sighs> uh, I guess I should have filled you in right after the operation ended. You know how the mountain lions are really good at hiding, right? We can't root them out because they always manage to slip away in the hollows, making it hard for us to pin down their HQ. Right. They call themselves lions, but all they do is scamper around like rodents. From the looks of it, I think we should send them a rat to be their leader. Right! That's exactly it, Ching Yi! You've got it all figured out! Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I might not have it all figured out, but I'll gladly take the compliments. Uh, well, actually, the rat idea you just mentioned? That was our plan all along. Maybe we should send them a rat to be their leader? Huh? Jane Doe, contracted consultant for criminal behavior at public security. What? She's one of us? That's right. Jane's been working with us, and she's our inside agent for this operation. She's the rat we sent in. The real bait. The real purpose behind the whole operation was to put on a show, allowing Jane to gain enough trust to infiltrate the mountain lion's top ranks and learn the secrets of their HQ. That's a bold move. So in that sense, our operation was a success. And Seth, I thought he was too straightforward to play such cunning tricks. He really fooled me. 
I thought they had actually captured him. <laughs> <clears throat> huh? Not funny? What's with that look on your face? Remember when I said the operation was only half a success? Well, Seth, he's that other half. He and the civilians who were caught up in this, they were really captured by the mountain lions. Hollow? That's right. First time here, Jane? Makes sense. This transfer station is one of the closest to our base, the Lion's Den. By the rules, we're not supposed to come here without the boss's approval. Y yeah! You! You need the boss's approval to be here! Oh yeah? And who do you think you are around here? Maybe I should be asking you that question. Huh? <sighs> Boss! That's... Razor, the mountain lion himself. I made those rules. About the transfer station, the secret knock, all of them. The rules are made to be followed. So why did you break them? Oh, sir, I... Uh, we... We were ambushed by Pubsack. They were fast and precise. It all happened suddenly. Things got messy real quick. If we hadn't pulled out fast, some of us would have gotten busted. Oh? Y yeah boss! We even snagged an officer as a bonus! <laughs> Look! Did you pull this off? Um, it... it was Jane. Boss, Jane came through for us again today. She stalled the officers with a smoke bomb, and we were able to get out of there safely. You bunch of despicable thugs! You have no honor! It wasn't much of a fight. This idiot tried to play hero for some civilians. Like a mouse walking into a trap. Good work, Jane. When the time's right, we'll see if there's a spot for you as a trusted bodyguard. Whoa. Listen up! Those public security clowns are still after us. I'm gonna go find out what they're up to. Lay low here for now. I'll arrange to get you back to the den safely in groups. You got that? Crystal clear, sir! Long live the lions!
come I can't break out of these? They're just simple restraint cuffs. Don't waste your energy. I injected you with muscle relaxants on the way over. You're lucky that you're even able to stand. Muscle relaxants? No wonder I feel so weak now. You'd sink so low as to use prohibited substances on innocent civilians? <laughs> hey, we've never done this to anybody else. Only you got the special treatment. What? Damn it! You dirty, sneaky rats! <laughs> it might be dirty to do this to ordinary people, but for someone who calls cuffs simple, it's a precaution. You? You obviously have the wits to match your skill. Why not keep on the straight and narrow? Why join a gang of violent thugs? Oh, you sound like you must know me pretty well. Of course I know you. I've read your entire dossier. Jane Doe, a new talent recruited by the Mountain Lions. You've rapidly risen through the ranks thanks to your sharp skills and quick mind. Now you're already a core member of the gang's bodyguards. Oh, and what's your point? At face value, most would think you're just another typical thug. Cunning, ruthless, deplorable, and cruel. But I can tell you're much more than that. <laughs> I know you must still have some virtues. Am I right? <laughs> you're asking me? Let's assume that you do. Because I believe you do. And unlike the rest of the Mountain Lion Gang, you still have some goodness left in your heart. You do, right? <sighs> what I'm saying is, you still have a choice, Jane. You can turn over a new leaf. It's not too late. If you cooperate with me, you have my word that public security will give you a fair trial. They'll go easy on you if you change and help me. How's that sound? You're Seth, right? Hmm? Yeah, that's my name. So what about the deal I mentioned? Hey, you sitting there, the little lady. <laughs> yeah, you. What are you trying to hide there? Uh, I, I, I don't have anything. Make no mistake, the only hostage worth anything here is the officer. Nobody's gonna cry if you end up missing an arm or a leg. Tell me. What are you hiding? <laughs> Whoa! Hang on a minute, Chain. No need to get so worked up. They say it's the eyeballs of hollow victims that the rats go for first. And you've got beautiful eyes there, Missy. I'm sure they'll love the taste. I... I... I don't have anything, really. This is the last time I'll ask. What are you hiding? Water! It's drinking water! We kept some from the trip over here! I told them to hide it! If there's a problem with that, then take it up with me! Officer Seth, you have an excellent aptitude for ether and outstanding fitness. Plus, you have many other virtues, like honesty, kindness, and determination. What are you trying to say? That you... No, I don't know you at all. But you're easy to read. And you've got all the stuff that bad guys love. Honesty, so you're a terrible liar. Kind-heartedness, so you're easily manipulated. And determination, so you never give in. I don't see any hope of us working together. Therefore... I strongly suggest that you be a good little hostage and don't try anything funny. After all, I am the only one here with some kindness left in my heart. Right? Ugh, you? Hey, where's the guard? Come here. Uh, yes, Jane? D did you call me? Keep a close eye on them and make sure they're treated according to the rules. Also, make sure you give our cop friend here three times as much water. And don't let the others drink anything until the cop finishes all his water first. What? You like water, don't you? Well, 
I'll make sure you drink enough of it then.
Let's start investigating. The target's over there. Let's search some other areas. <laughs> High-powered security laser grid. I'm not going to rush things. Let's go around. There are security doors everywhere. Maybe they lead to something useful. <laughs> this crate appears to be pretty new. Must be gang stuff. It's never easy, is it? An unbound security card. What luck. Let's give it a try. Great. Open it. Let's keep going. Keep going. Is that a control terminal? It could have intel, so it's worth checking. It's never easy, is it? Let's keep going. This will take us to the other side of that blocked off area. I'll make it painless. Made it around. Let's get investigating. Let's keep going. Going. 
Great. Open it. Another mechanism. Let's find a way around it. Hopefully, this is the last door. Finally made it. The final act begins now. It's never easy, is it? I'll make it painless. There'll be some leads about the lion's den.
sleep back. Ugh, seriously. That officer lady said the renewal process is going to be fast. Now it's dark already. And I'm so hungry. Hmm? Aren't we back late because of all that shopping at Lumina Square? You can't blame the public security officer for that. Why do you always have to side with somebody else, bro? Even if I was shopping for a while, you could still try to take another angle. It's not like I delayed business for us at the video store or something. Either way, it's because you went shopping. All right, all right. I don't want to fight. You're hungry too, yeah? Let's get back to the store, check things over, then get some food. And I'm picking the place today since all the shopping affected business at the video store. Huh? How come? You're definitely just going to pick noodles again. Let's make a bet. If no customers come by, then I get to choose. Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint you, little missy, but it looks like you'll be eating noodles tonight. Huh? Uh, who are you? Excuse me. Are you two the owners of this video store? I'd like to rent a movie. I see. You want to rent a thriller that's about mountains. Hmm. If we use that as a keyword, then... It's all my fault. I wasn't paying attention and forgot what the exact title was. Who knew it'd be so hard to remember? It's a tough search for one thing. But secondly, well, we've already shut down for the day. Rebooting our computers and getting all your customer info would be a bit of a hassle now. I see. Seems that's a problem for you. Well, I guess I'd better try my luck at another more professional video store then. Well, good for you then, Missy. Since I'm not technically a customer, I guess you won't have to eat noodles tonight. Oh, hold on one moment there, dear customer. On second thought, you came all this way just to see us, so we should honor your effort and find this movie for you. Ah, are you sure? Then what about rebooting all the computers and that other stuff? We can just start a tab under your name for now. It should be fine. Huh? You sure are quick when it comes to business, bro. What? I just want to prove that Random Play is the most professional video store there is in town. Excuse me, but about your friend who wants to see the movie, what are they like? Are they brave? He acts brave on the outside, but doesn't really dare to do anything ever. And he's great at making excuses. Sounds like an entry-level thriller fan. Oh, isn't that about the same as you, Wise? Which of the new thrillers have you dared to watch? It might be better not to use me as the benchmark bell. As the owner-operator of a video store, I watch each and every movie with the same professional attitude. Nice! Then after dinner, let's do a little thriller movie marathon! So far, I've only dared to watch Silent Valley, The Big Hollow, and The Port Peak. Ah, I've heard of Silent Valley before. But I don't think that's the one my friend wanted. Really? The Big Hollow doesn't really have much to do with mountains, and it's not even a thriller. So it has to be the Port Peak, then. A brutal chainsaw-wielding monster haunts a bunch of backpackers in these wintry mountains. There's plenty of thrilling action with splattering blood and gore. Practically every scene has prop arms and organs bleeding all over the place. I think I'm going to have vegetarian noodles tonight. <laughs> Judging by your description, I'd say that it's definitely the Port Peak, then. Thank you so much. You really helped me out here. I won't forget it. Uh, wait a second, miss. You can keep the change. Use what's left over to treat your sister to her favorite dessert. It's on me. Bye now. Wow, that rat firing girl sure has that riz. I love her. I was going to say that she forgot to put her name down in the account book.
a notice from public security. The process of renewing our business license went quite smoothly, but it seems like we still need to visit the public security office anyway. Let's handle affairs at public security. Speaking of which, I wonder how that customer is doing. The one who rented the Port Peak last time. All right, 18. Can you please remember to keep an eye out for a spunky Thyron girl today? If she comes to return a movie, please get her name or register her as a member. <laughs> Somebody must be thinking about me. I wonder who. Jane, you're finally back! I've missed you, you know. Oh, it's you. That's rather disappointing. And this is what you missed, right? Oh, alright! The Port Peak in HD! And it's the special videotape released with 20 seconds of extra footage! I'm gonna put this on right now. Go right ahead. There's lots of thrilling action scenes, and loads of blood and gore with chopped limbs flying around. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Uh, <laughs> Why so quiet all of a sudden? You scared? Yeah, right. It's just, uh, I feel like when we're at work, uh, we should be a little more serious. I'll stand guard a little longer, and then when the others come back, I'll... Hmm? Hey! Hold on! Why did you bring the hostages out again? Ah, uh, Jane! You're back! <laughs> uh, you sure have been working hard. Uh, I'm going to take the hostages to the restroom. Again? How many times have you taken them already? You can only blame yourselves! What do you expect after giving me so much water? Can't you just go in your cell? Go in my cell? Have you no shame? Everybody can see! Well, I go like that all the time. Uh, but if I keep doing that, our jail won't be very habitable anymore. Uh, did you have to go there? <laughs> Fine. Take them out. We can't have our little officer losing his dignity now. Do you need to call a few more guards to go with you? There could be ethereals lurking around this area. Uh, no, 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 no. No sweat, Jane. <laughs> The bathroom isn't far, and besides, uh, I know all the fissures and shortcuts around this part of the hollow. We'll be right back. to the bathroom they sure are taking their time hey what have you been feeding the hostages uh uh well same as us some heart tack and some water all right according to your instructions we were sure to pump that one from pub sec full of water and he ate the gross salty fish flavored hard tack too and the medication you mean the muscle relaxants we have lowered the dosage before stopping it completely, just like you ordered. Really? Then they shouldn't be so slow. Maybe they ran out of paper. Not good! We have a problem! Gone! It's all gone! <sighs> I knew it! Here you go, take this! My mom always taught me to keep a spare roll on me! Huh? What is this? Toilet paper?! Yeah, the bathroom's out of toilet paper. Right? No! The hostages! The hostages all gone! <gasps> the hostages! The dog! 
guard! That officer! Everyone's gone! The guard in the bathroom got knocked out, and that rookie escorting them betrayed us! He escaped with the hostages! What? The patrol has gone to uptake the boss! There's nothing he hates more than traitors. You can bet he's gonna come over here personally! We have got to go catch them, otherwise we're all in for it! That kid... he really convinced someone to betray us. Listen up. Leave the chase to me. You'll only slow things down. Everybody just wait for the boss at the transfer station. Okay! <laughs> Didn't see this coming. Up ahead. They sure are fast. That idiot is triggering all the traps. What the? Cluster bombs? And a laser net. This smell. Watch out. Ethereal. Gotta focus on dodging. Good thing they didn't get attacked. <laughs> They managed to make it deeper into the building. Not bad. <laughs> Seems I got my exercise for the day. I'm in the zone today. Let's make this quick. Here's that idiot. An attacking laser nut. Better not hurt my tail. They should be just up ahead. Gotta hurry. <sighs> Seth, did, did they really give you muscle relaxants? How did you manage to run faster than us the whole way? The thing with muscles is, as long as you're reasonable with them and motivate them, they'll always be able to move. In what universe does that make any sense? Oh god. That's it. I can't keep running it. Oh. No, just keep up. Didn't you just say we're almost at the exit? No. We're already here. This is the exit. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Let's go, people. You two head out first. Are... are you sure? But you're weak, officer. Wouldn't it be better if you got out first? Don't worry about me. Time is of the essence, and you all need to get out of here. Quick! <laughs> Thank you, Officer Seth. If it weren't for you, we definitely would have been... All in a day's work for a public security officer. Come on! Okay, you're next. <sighs> uh, what's wrong? Seth, can I... Can I really cross over to the other side? Can I... Really start all over again? Could someone like me really get another chance? That's not for me to decide. But if you stay here, you'll never find out. Thank you, Seth. I... Wait! Damn! They caught up! You... You... You stay away from me! I'm turning my back on this life of crime, Jane! And you should do the same! Shut up and listen. There are other paths you can take. Oh... What other path? That voice is... It's Razor the Mountain Lion! We're surrounded! Just stay behind me! The rules of the streets, the rules of the gang, my rules. None tolerate a traitor, so Jane... 
What other paths do they have? <laughs> Only surrender, of course. Surrender and submission. Hmm. According to the rules, traitors should suffer a fate worse than death. But seeing as Jane says so, I'm willing to give a second chance. You! Kill the pop sex scum and I'll let you off lightly. <laughs> I'll give you three seconds to think it over. Three. Two. One. I refuse! Behave yourself, you rotten traitor! Oh, he refused your proposal, Jane. You know what to do next. Let me go! Don't you dare harm him! <sighs> give, give me another chance! You can still turn this around! <laughs> Anything else to say? Drop him! Drop him! I... I... I, I want to start over. <laughs> I know. You will. Next. Jane, what are you doing? You breaking the rules now, too? No way, boss. Just, didn't you say, when the time's right, I can become a bodyguard? Yeah, so what? We mountain lions are fierce and unbeatable. Not even those pub sack idiots can stop us. It'd be a waste to get rid of him like this, don't you think? What's your point? With him here, I think the time has come. Let me fight in front of the gang to prove myself and earn a shot at promotion. I propose a duel in the lion's den. Hold it, Jane! Don't think you're all that! Only the boss calls the shots! Gentlemen, are you still in the dark? About the rumors on the streets? They say that, in front of PubSec, mountain lions are just little scaredy cats. Our brothers caught, business stolen, operations ruined, territory shrinking. And what did we do in response? We ran. We hid. Scattered like mice, with our heads down. Lions are creatures that hold honor above all, and this Hubsec officer is the perfect opportunity to prove ours. Let this duel make it clear to all other gangs. We are real lions. <laughs> and not some scaredy cats. <laughs> but boss, I think Jane actually has a point. Don't worry, boss. How long have we been pushed around? Lions for mountain lions! Don't show them, Jane! We support you! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Done for. We're the strongest gang! <laughs> well, Razor, what do you say? <laughs> when the lion's den is ready, I'll send someone for you. Until then, keep an eye on the cat. You got it, boss. Much appreciated, boss. I won't let you down.
I finally managed to get things going. Keeping Seth alive while also using him as the bait I need to get into the lion's den. The escape supplies are all ready. My route and universal keycard are all sorted. I just need a way to rescue Seth before our duel. Plus there's that guard kid. I dropped him off in a place where there were warnings of fissures potentially opening. He said he's been at this transfer station a while and knows all the fissures and shortcuts around this area. Guess I can only hope that he was telling the truth. Please, please be safe. Oh, so our strong newcomer who's going all out to become a bodyguard is someone who says her prayers, huh? <laughs> Just a little pregame prayer, nothing more. But as for you, don't tell me a majestic mountain lion bodyguard would stoop to eavesdropping. Seems like this will be easier than giving you know I'm a bodyguard. I'm here on the boss's orders to take you to the lion's den. So, everything's already set up for the fight? No need to shower, get changed, go over the rules, paint up some lion shirts, or anything like that? Nah. <laughs> Come on, I was just kidding, Mr. Bodyguard. You don't have to be so nervous. I'll guide you through the fissure into the lion's den. We leave now. Gotcha. Just let me pack my things and then... We leave. Now. <laughs> Why the rush? The lion's den isn't going anywhere. At least let me fix my makeup, okay? Jane, are you going to ignore the rules of the mountain lions? <sighs> fine, fine. Let's go now then. You lead the way, Mr. Bodyguard. Ugh, it's starting so quickly that I didn't have time to grab my escape supplies. I had a feeling something like this might happen. Looks like I'll have to come up with an escape plan on the fly. Is this... Hollow Zero? So the lion's den is hidden inside Hollow Zero. <laughs> Sometimes the most dangerous place is also the safest. Those pub sick cowards never go anywhere dangerous, but we mountain lions aren't afraid. So that's it. The mountain lions know the location of a stable fissure leading to Hollow Zero from a companion hollow. Every time they need to escape, they flee to this area in Hollow Zero. That's why public security could never find or catch them. <laughs> no wonder that transfer station is churning out supplies for anti-corruption serum. They must be used for holing up inside Hollow Zero. Once they're out of danger, they can slip out of the fissure and escape. <laughs> Impressive. That's a risky strategy that only a group as bold and talented as yourselves could pull off. Don't be envious. You'll be joining our group of bold and talented people soon enough. But you have to prove yourself! Hey, what gives? The duel will be just up those stairs there. You can go up once you meet all the requirements. Uh, hang on. Nobody said anything about a qualification round before the duel. Becoming a bodyguard is the boss's way of acknowledging you, but we mountain lions need to see you prove yourself first. If you want a shot at the duel, then you'll have to make it there on your own. This is also one of our rules. You call that a rule? It's just a way to wear me down before the fight. <laughs> rules are rules. Plus, weren't you praying just now? This little trial should be a cinch for you. Come on, newbie. We're looking forward to seeing how you do. <sighs> Seriously, another task to collect access cards. <sighs> Need three cards. For <laughs> they really couldn't come up with anything better to test me. Let's start investigating. The target's over there. Don't be sorry. It'll be over soon enough. Uh, oops, sorry. Uh, 
Great. That's the first access card. It won't be that easy to become a bodyguard. No, it's easy. I just need to beat all of you up. Let's make this quick. What? Ready or not, here I come. Ready or not, here I come. Let's keep going. An ambush? So predictable. Great. That's the second access card. Only one more to find. So you were here too. Don't expect me to go easy on you. Three of them. Time to go and get promoted. What a great surprise. Are you here to congratulate me on passing the trial? I see you even brought that little pub sec prince with you. Jane, they... Ugh! Shut up, you pub sec maggot! <laughs> Careful with the goods. He's going to be my trophy in a moment. I want to defeat a real, living public security officer. To have the gang cheering my name, and to feel the joy of stomping him into the ground. Don't spoil my fun. Mm, Jane Doe, the new cub of the Mountain Lions. You have completed the path of promotion and earned the recognition of the gang. You hereby qualify as my loyal and trusted bodyguard. It's an honor, boss. But there's one final step to take before you earn your official place in the duel. Whatever you say, boss. But before that... Huh? <laughs> Trying to ambush me, huh? Afraid I'm coming for your position. Guess you couldn't help being anxious. And you even dared to pull a cheap trick like that in front of the boss. <laughs> I was just gonna break one of your hands, that's all! <laughs> you really think I'm gonna forgive you just because you spilled the beans so easily? <laughs> Kindergarten ended 20 years ago, buddy. Go explain yourself to the boss. <laughs> I don't have to explain anything. Because... Huh? <laughs> Break one of her hands. That was my order. Boss! Razor! You... 
Why? Jane, I want you to lose to this pub sec punk in the duel. Then I can go up there and kill him myself. As long as you fight well enough, I'll arrange for someone to escort you to a hospital in New Eridu immediately after the duel. This is one of my rules for your promotion. You're asking me to go up there and lose on purpose and pretend it's real? What kind of stupid rule is that? Jane, but you're always missing the point. The rules of the fight, the rules of promotion, my rules. The point isn't the rules, it's that they're mine. <laughs> Me, Razor, I'm the only authority, I'm the only explanation, and I'm the only leader. I am the Mountain Lion, and only I represent the Mountain Lions. I need bodyguards who can protect me and my reputation, not some stinking ambitious rat. You've already defied me twice now in front of everyone, strutting your stuff around in my gang. I've been lenient enough to not just get rid of you, so you'd better listen to my orders now. Understand? <laughs> so, this whole circus is just because you're afraid of losing face and status? I thought you might have figured out my secret. <laughs> but it turns out a stopped clock is right twice a day. Secret? What do you mean? <laughs> the same narrow-minded thinking and boring ambitions. All you're doing is fighting for power like stray cats on the street. How ridiculous. You think you're all that with your arrogant attitude? That's what I hate about you. But it doesn't matter. I've got loads of time. So, let me teach you a little something about my rules. <laughs> you brat! What are you doing? I can't stand dishonesty! I've heard enough and I've taken enough! You demand loyalty, but will sacrifice your companions on a whim for your own greed! Jane, do you get it now? The filthy nature of these gangsters! If you would have just agreed to my terms, we could have avoided all this nonsense! I agree but to you're your just terms. so obsessed with! Uh, hang on. What did you say? I agree to your terms. Turning over a new leaf, changing for the better. Okay, I agree. Uh, huh? I mean it. Just try pulling on the cuffs with both hands. It's no use. The muscle relaxants have. Huh? They broke! My strength is back! But how? You sweat more being agitated, and you drink a lot of water, right? I don't want to talk about the bathroom, Jane. Urination plus sweating speeds metabolism enough to almost completely process the medicine. So that's why you made me drink all that- <laughs> Jane, now you betray me! Well, you heard him. I'm tired of the drama. I'm done, and I can let myself out. I've already got the key. Card? You swiped it when you were getting beaten up? <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Even better. I'll just kill the traitor then. It'll boost my rep all the same. I'll show you how much weight a mountain lion thing carries! Any last words? Face my wrath! Found your weakness. Now, you're the prey. I'm losing. Execution! Continue! Son of a pain. You're under arrest. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> 
begins now. Damn My armor's failing! You may remain silent! Get them! Don't let them escape! Avenge the boss! These guys... So persistent. Are they really that hungry for revenge? <laughs> You're underestimating Razor's influence. Go around! Go around! There's only one exit fissure! We'll cut them off! <sighs> we finally made it. Jane, I never thought you'd dare to take out Razor! I knew there was something off about you right from the... <sighs> yeah, yeah, all right already. We're about to fight, so save your breath. What? You think you're the big boss man now that Razor isn't around anymore? <laughs> Still acting smug even though it's the end now, huh? You'll regret hurting the boss! All you talk about is the boss and follow him around like a little lapdog. What did you like about him anyway? How loud he got when he was cussing you out? You went to that. You... shut your mouth! Am I wrong? I never saw Razor show you any kindness, yet you still liked him. Don't tell me you see him as a father figure. Uh, Jane, I think that's enough. You hear that? Even the pub sec officer thinks you're pathetic. The big bad daddy who cussed you out every day is gone. And yet you still miss him. What are you? A bunch of daddy's boys. Uh, hang on! I did not say that! I said shut up! You... you traitor! I'm gonna make you pay! We cubs of the mountain lions will... Uh, actually, Cubs isn't completely accurate. I certainly didn't think of Razor as a father figure. I know! It's just a metaphor, get it? Don't let that sewer rat toy with you anymore! We've got them surrounded! Get them! Uh, what's going on? Was they coming from the fissure? Uh... You have the right to remain silent! Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You finally caught up. <laughs> Captain Zhou Yuan! Jingyi! Everyone! And you! You're that guard kid! You're still alive? How? You're surrounded. Lay down your weapons and surrender. Wait, you yawn at work too, Chingy? Aren't you an automaton? Yes, but that's irrelevant. Exhaustion is a state of mind, not the body. Or, to put it another way, yawning is like the soul burping from eating too much boredom. Plus, yawns are contagious. No way! There's no way I'll yawn before the captain gets out of the commendation meeting. Ah, <sighs> oh, dang it. <laughs> you should listen to your elders. Anyway, I'm bored right now, so could you do that thing again, Seth? What? No, I don't want to. Don't be shy. Here, I'll help you start. <clears throat> Captain, please listen to me. I'm with a mountain lion bodyguard called Jane. I'm supposed to arrest her, but I persuaded her to turn over a new leaf. I'll bet my reputation that she can change. Captain, please trust me. Come on, Chingy. Enough already. And then Zhu Yuan replies. 
Seth, let me introduce you. This is Jane Doe, a criminal behavioral expert who's been working with us for a long time now. She's part of the operation as an informant. I'm sorry that the situation was a bit complicated this time. I'll tell you more details later. Captain, is the meeting over? How can you remember everything so perfectly? Oh, how could I forget? Especially with your funny expression at the time, Seth. But don't be upset. It's thanks to you and Jane that we could finally wrap up this whole operation. You can be happy about that. Speaking of which, what about Jane? Why isn't she here for the secret commendation? Apparently, there's a new case that requires her as a consultant, and she's already set out to make preparations. She said she needed to go repay a favor first. Still crooked? Mm, I think a little to the left. No, no, try a little to the right. Well, we've been over this three times already. Just give me an accurate answer so I can hang up this business license. And if you can't tell, then ask Fairy to help you. Come on, bro. How can you say that? I'm totally serious in watching you hang it, aren't I? Fine. So is it still crooked now, or...? Mm, a little more to the left? Ah, uh, a little to the right. What a hassle. A real hassle, huh? But the smile on your face is lighting up the room. Huh? You're... You're the rat Thyron who rented the poor peak last time! <laughs> Glad you remember me. Am I interrupting something important here? Not at all. I was just getting back at my brother for always making me eat noodles whenever we go out shopping. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it is. You can come down now, Mr. Manager. It's hanging perfectly straight now. You got it. Uh, oh, my hands are sore now. Uh, thanks for rescuing me there. Are you here to return the videotape? That's right. I brought back your copy of the poor peak. Here you go. Got it. Hmm. Well, the tape doesn't seem damaged at all. Great. I'll just get your deposit back for you. One second. So how was it? Is your friend hooked on it now? Huh? <laughs> my friend? Who do you mean? Huh? Last time, didn't you say that you were renting it out for a friend? You said that he pretends to be brave, but is actually a wimp. Just like my bro here. I can hear you, you know. Ah, right. I guess I did say that. Sorry, my memory isn't the best. I even forgot what my friend said about the movie. To compensate, let me register for your highest tier membership. And I'll buy your highest value gift card. Plus, I'll be sure to recommend your store to all my friends, okay? Oh, no, no worries at all. I'm always the one who forgets things. But let me get that membership card for you right now. Thanks for your patronage. Your gift card is ready. May I ask your name for the account? You can call me... Jane. <laughs> <laughs>